Hello, I'm Colin from Empty Cup Media, and I built five simple filmmaking gizmos out of reclaimed wood, and I'd like to show you what they look like, how they're made, and what I use them for. Six filmmaking gizmos. This is gonna throw off the whole thing. Rhythm of my intro. Credibility. This first one is very simple. It's just a block of 8x10 pine with routed edges, and this one has a quarter inch hole drilled in the middle. Or this one is just two pieces of plywood glued together with a 3 8 inch hole drilled in the bottom. I drilled a small recession into the bottom of them so that the bolt doesn't touch the table. And then on this one I fed a 1 inch bolt through it and then capped it with this, which is a small female to female turnaround that I bought on Amazon. Next, I screw in a light bolt, and then finally, this little elbow, so that I can adjust the angle of my LED lights. I made two of these specifically for my probe lens, so that I can add some kicker light to my tabletop setups. And I made this other one, with a tripod head on top of it, for my online teaching, or for stable shots that are really close to the ground. This next one is used to get perfect worm's eye view shots. Tripod heads don't tilt all the way back to look straight up, so I built this so it fits on top of a tripod head so I can position the lens of the camera directly above the middle of the tripod for perfect rotating shots of things on the ceiling. It looks really nice on a slide or two. This is made of two pieces of reclaimed pallet wood, two small L brackets, a Manfrotto quick release plate, and a camera plate. It's nice that there's a little bit of play when I attach this rig to the tripod head so I can make sure that my camera lens is centered directly above the tripod. This one works directly with my right angle rig and together they allow me to get camera rolls. I usually use it to get subtle rolls or 90 degree rolls and don't often roll it all the way around. It's very heavy with all this wood and with a camera on the end, so it's a little bit slower moving it around the set. And if I'm feeling really steady, I'll throw it on my slider and try to combine a few different movements together. This is also made by two pieces of reclaimed pallet wood, but with a lot beefier L brackets, a small Manfrotto 701 tripod head, and a camera plate. I couldn't find a universal ring light that would fit all of my different lens diameters for run and gun shooting, so I built my own and I would use this to get that quintessential ring light lighting in someone's eyes or to light up macro videography so I can shoot at a higher aperture. I used a high-speed grinder to create a recession underneath the platform here to hide the bolt heads that attached this quick release plate to the wood platform and then I screwed that platform to its base from underneath. I bought a six inch USB powered ring light with a quarter inch bolt in the bottom, a small USB battery bank and another Manfrotto quick release plate so this rig is one of my priciest gizmos at around $85. I don't have a name for this one, but it was built specifically for pushing and pulling shots with my probe lens on my slider. This gizmo attaches to my slider's tripod head, so my camera can cruise just a few inches off the ground. I hear you watching that. If I wanted to get probe lens shots on the slider on the ground without this gizmo, then I would be forced to angle the lens down, which limits the shot quite a bit. By attaching this to my slider's tripod head, I still get the benefit of tilting, but the camera can cruise ultra close to the floor, giving me a much more desirable angle. This is made of three pieces of reclaimed pallet wood, four L brackets, a Manfrotto quick release plate, and a camera plate. And for each of these rigs, I would glue, clamp, and nail the connections before putting on the L brackets. This last gizmo is a really simple one, but it has a really unique purpose. It's just a box that my projector fits in and it has a camera plate on the bottom so that I can attach it to my tripod. A really neat in-camera trick is to project a video on top of something or someone and then film it. And depending on the video that you're projecting, you can get some really unique shots. And setting up a projector is cumbersome on the best of days, so attaching one to my tripod makes it quick and easy to reposition. There's nothing fancy that's going on here. There's a little bit of wiggle room inside the box. There are holes cut out for the cables and the vents and the lens, and there's a camera plate on the bottom. I used three 16th inch stove bolts to attach my camera plates to each of my gizmos. And I had to put in an ugly false floor inside this box so that the bolts didn't poke the underbelly of the projector, but that doesn't really matter. 
finally, here's a quick word of advice about buying third-party Manfrotto camera plates like these ones online. I've purchased a lot from different eBay sellers and they all come back really snug. So I just use the hand file and spend about 10 minutes per camera plate scraping off the bottom layer of paint and then they work like a charm. And I would say that the added time scraping is worth the cost savings. Thanks so much for watching. If you've built any film gizmos, I'd love to hear about them. Otherwise, go reclaim some wood and start building some great shots.